Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this logarithmic equation with different bases. As you can see over here, so our equation is log of a with the base 2 plus log of a with the base 3 equals to 1. And now we are going to find the value of a. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we can see. We got two different bases, base 2 and base 3 and we are going to manipulate this equation by changing their bases. So therefore we are going to apply this change of base rule according to this rule log of y with the base x could be written as log of y divided by log of x. So let's go ahead and apply this uh, change of base rule on this very first term. So this could be written as log of a divided by log of 2 and plus now we are going to apply the rule on this uh, second term. So this could be written as log of a divided by log of 3 equals to 1. And now we can see that log of a and log of a they are in common. So we can factor them out. So therefore I can write uh, 1 divided by log of 2 plus 1 divided by log of 3 times I am going to put down now log of a that was in common equals to 1. And now let's focus on this part inside this parenthesis. And here I have copied them down. Let's go ahead and add these two fractions by crisscross method. So therefore if we cross multiply this way we are going to get 1 times log of 2 is log of 2. Then I'm going to put down this plus sign and then 1 times log of 3 is going to be log of 3 divided by I am going to multiply out these two denominators. So I can write log of 2 times log of 3. And now let's recall this product rule we are going to apply on this numerator over here. So we can write this one as log of 2 times 3 divided by log of 2 times log of 3. And now we can see that this log of 2 times 3 is going to be log of 6. So therefore I am going to replace this whole part by this simplified one. So therefore our this equation is simply is going to become log of 6 divided by log of 2 times log of 3 times log of a equals to 1. And now in this next step I want to isolate this log of a. So therefore I am going to multiply by the reciprocal of this fraction. I can write log of 2 times log of 3 divided by log of 6 on the left hand side. And at the same time I'm going to multiply by log of 2 times log of 3 divided by log of 6. Now we can see that these logs cancel out with this one. Log of 6 is gone with this one. So therefore we ended up with log of a on the left hand side equals to 1 times this whole thing is going to be log of 2 times log of 3 divided by log of 6. Now we can see that the bases for all these logs are missing and just keep in your mind whenever the base is missing by default the base is 10 and such kind of logs are called common log. So the base is going to be 10 over here. 
And now let's recall this conversion rule from logarithmic form to an exponential one. We are going to apply this rule on this equation. So our equation could be written as this one in our exponential form a equals to 10 power log of 2 times log of 3 divided by log of 6 and now we can see that we have isolated our this a so therefore this is our solution in terms of exponential form and now I'm going to show you to find the value of a by figuring out this log of 2 log of 3 and log of 6 by using the calculator now if we use a calculator we can see that log of 2 is approximately equal to 0 0.301 log of 3 is 0 0.477 and log of 6 is approximately equal to 0 0.778 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks over here so a equals to 10 power log of 2 is 0 0.301 times 0 0.477 divided by 0 0.778 and now if we multiply and divide this exponent that will be equal to approximately equal to 0 0.1845 so therefore our approximate value of a is going to be 10 power 0 0.18 4 5 now if we use a calculator once again 10 power 0 0.1845 is approximately equal to 1.53 so therefore our approximate value of a turns out to be 1.53 and here's our final step we can check our answer by just plugging in this a value which is approximately equal to 1.53 over here and over here so the left hand side could be written as log of 1.53 with the base 2 plus log of 1.53 with the base 3 the question mark is it equal to 1 and now if we plug it in these values in any scientific calculator we can see the left hand side is indeed equal to 1 and the right hand side is indeed equal to 1 therefore we can see that this is indeed a true statement so therefore we conclude that this uh, 1.53 is our valid solution and thus here's our solution in terms of exponential form and this one as a decimal form thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye